finally. Hello, guys. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. I am so sorry for the delay, but believe it or not, Good evening, teacher. Pero créanlo, no tengo tres computadoras y las tres se me actualizaron en este momento. So, I'm so sorry. But well, we are here. We are going to start. How are you, Basilia? Fine, teacher. And tell me, how was your day? Um, everything. <laughs> In my house. Okay. And what did you do? What was the routine for today? Tell me. Um, um, prepare the breakfast. Prepare breakfast. Okay. <laughs> um, cooking the lunch. Okay, prepare um, the lunch. Excellent. Then I saw the notice. I watched it. I watched it. I watched it. Ah. I watched the news. Uh, the news. And then I, what do you see? Regar the garden. Actually, that's a very interesting verb. Water, uh, water. You watered, well, actually in past, water. Watered. The garden. Okay. Watered the garden. And then prepare the dinner um pupusa oh no i don't like pupusas oh yeah that's something that for me is terrible so anyway thank you <laughs> basilia interesting okay let's see let's see who else katia hello how are you Hello, teacher. I'm fine. How about you? I'm just great. Tell me, how was your day? It was good. Good? Okay. What did you do today? I went to my work. In the school, I was working in a, I don't know how to say, plan psychosocial mm -hmm. oh really yes. so it was i am doing that so you had a heavy day today oh yes my my head <laughs> oh you got a headache no 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 just that good. tired fine. Fine. Yeah. i like to, to do uh, that those activities those activities yes I, I like to do that but that is so so hard yeah in my mind, mind yeah i can imagine i mean it's it's a lot of work it's a and lot of my work boss is, yes but my boss is is pushing me for the plan. Okay, your boss is asking, <laughs> asking you. Okay. Asking, asking. Yeah, well, what can we do about and it? Today, and today I have, I have to work too much because tomorrow I have to uh, teach uh, dark classes. Teach? Teach? You have and to teach? Universe. But at online. the university. But online. Okay, well, yeah, but teaching online, it's uh, it's a little bit difficult sometimes. You have to prepare more material. Yes, but it's the two years, the last year, the same because of the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, the pandemic has no, been like terrible. Yes. Yeah, and it has. I, it has demanded from us something different to be more creative. Yeah. Well, it's thank so you, Katya. It was interesting. Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, let's see, let's see who's gonna be next. Linda, hello, Linda. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine, thank you. How was your day, Linda? My day um, went relaxed, teacher. Really? Yeah. Day. That's cool. I went to my work, but lo tomé tranquilo, como se dice. Lo agarré al suave. <laughs> okay, you took it easy. Take it easy. That's nice, that's nice. Okay, and what did you do? Uh, what time did you finish working today? At, um, at 5. At 5.30 a.m.? Yes. Okay, that's, that's okay. Actually, it's not that late. So you no. went home, relaxed. Mm, what was yeah. today for dinner? Tell me, what was for dinner? Um, pupus. <laughs> oh. Because um, you you don't like pupusas. Oh, you're Porque... asking me. Uh huh. Why don't you like pupusas? Why do you like pupusas? Don't. Why don't you like pupusas? Why don't do you like pupusas? Uh, it's just that uh, it's pupusas. Are delicious. It's Salvadorian cookie. <laughs> Cook. Yeah, but you know, I don't like pupusas. I don't like chilate. Uh, let me see. Oh, typical. Well, I like some typical stuff, but no pupusas. No. No, pupusas is not for me. It's not Qué a, raro. Uh, <laughs> really. I mean, I, I don't like tamales either. But you um, are Salvadorian. Yes, I am. Um, it's de los pocos salvadoreños entonces que no le gustan las pupusas. Yeah, but you know, it's just that <laughs> I don't like them. Pupusas are... I love pupusas. Wow. Well, <laughs> yeah, as you can see. Uh, I can I can um three or four times a week. <laughs> three or four times a week. Yes. Oh my gosh, no way. I cannot. <laughs> I mean, ugh, that's not for me. That's not for me. Totally not for me. Well, thank you very yeah, much. Bye. Thank you very much, Linda. It was interesting talking to you. Now, let's see who else is around. Mr. Mario. Hello, Mario. How are you? Uh, very well, uh, teacher. Very well. Tell me, what was your routine today? What did you do today? Um, uh, work it. Work. Okay, you work. work. I work and my day is. Uh, fue. fue? My day was. My day. Uh, it's was? very uh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Okay. What did you do? Uh, interesting for uh, I. ¿Cómo sería conocer? I. I met. Well, a person. A, per, a person. 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 Okay. Person. I met. I met a, a various person. Okay. Various person and very, 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 very different, interesting. People. Different people, different people, uh, relational with my work. 
Okay. But related, uh, related, related to related. my job. Related to my job. And very nice day. Very nice day. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Okay. Well, uh, just give me a second. I need to report that I started four minutes late. So. Just give me a second. Okay. Thank you. So you met different people today. Well, that's good. It's always good to get to know somebody new. Uh, excuse me. Repeat, repeat me. Uh, it's teacher. it is always good to get get to know somebody new. It's always good to get to know somebody new. Llegar a conocer. Uh, eh, la, 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 eh, It is good, es bueno, to get to know somebody new. It's good. Ah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Understand, understand. You get it okay. now? It's good. It, uh -huh. it, it's good. It's good for me and my, my Joe and... And my my job and and my practice professional professional and practice professional. professional okay professional practice and for this reason in my day catalog I'm sorry uh, my mi día mi día fue catalogado o es catalogado como bueno my day Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. My day is good. 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 Excellent. Oh my gosh, what happened here? I'm sorry, guys. Oops. I got so many cables. As I told you, I got I was working with three different computers and now I'm looking for the charger. I wonder where did it go? It's right here, it's moving here. And it's right here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you very much, Mario. It was very, very interesting. Let's see. Mr. Humberto Jaco, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How was your day, Humberto? Um, my day is very good. Was all was the day. Okay, it's what was good all the day. Okay, excellent, excellent. Tell me about your day, please. Yes, uh, this day work, work, um, uh, science seven, seven aquatic a.m. to three and forty five p.m. Uh, Travel to my house and very, very good. Any traffic and also dinner pupusas. Oh my gosh, you are killing me here, guys. You are killing me. It's Friday, teacher. <laughs> you are killing me here. Hey, listen up, listen yes, up. Yes, Friday, Friday is day of pupusas. Okay, Friday is pupusas day. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. Okay. We can propose us. We can propose us. Okay. Yeah. Listen up, mister. When you are telling me the time since you started to the end, the pronunciation is since. Since. Okay. Okay. But you can say, since. I, yes. You can say, I worked since, or you can say, I worked. From 
two. From is okay. when we talk about time, the specific moment, hour, you can say from two. Like I have to teach this class from eight okay. to nine. You see? Oh, okay. Okay, teach. Okay, now I'm going to thank you very much, Mr. Humberto. I'm going to make a little pause. Vamos a hacer una pequeña pausa. Verdad que el día de ayer les mencioné de que ahora íbamos a trabajar con el pasado, ¿verdad? Yes. Es porque veía algunos yes. comentarios de algunos Simple compañeros. Pass. Veía algunos comentarios de algunos compañeros que entendían de que no íbamos a tener clase. Pero sí les comunicaron a ustedes que teníamos la clase, ¿verdad? Yes, de lunes a viernes yes. por tres semanas y la última semana solo lunes. Just one day. Okay, perfect. Okay. I was worried. Well, it's good to have you here and it's good to see that everybody's connecting. Excellent, excellent. Thank you very much, Humberto. Let's see, Elizabeth Lopez. Hello. Hello, teacher. How was your day, Elizabeth? It was good, it was bad. My day was good. Okay, tell me what what, what were your activities today? Um, um, <laughs> sure. How. I'm sorry. ¿Cuáles fueron sus actividades? Haciendo las tareas. Okay. House tareas de la casa. Okay, house chores. House chores. House chores. House chores. Yes, house chores. That's cool. I mean, that's and heavy. What's boring? That's heavy. Eso es pesado. For me, yes. For me, let me see. It's Saturday and Sunday. I have to. Well, Sunday I have to go teach a class, then I have to, when I come back, I have to do the laundry and the cleaning and more laundry. I mean, for me, Saturday is laundry day. Well, interesting. So you've been busy, Elizabeth. You have been very busy. I saw mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Karen. Hello, Karen. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. Okay, I always see you like this because your picture is like this. So <laughs> tell me, how was your day, Karen? Um, my day is boring. The morning. Boring. Yeah, uh, I am 6 a.m. Oh, you started at 6 a.m. Uh, me too, 6 a.m. Yeah. Okay. Seven kilometers. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. And uh, homeschool, cook. Cooking, cooking. Yeah, cooking, cooking. Uh, no cooking pupusas. Thankfully. What was but, today for dinner? Tell me. Um, fries, potatoes, and okay. chicken. Okay, chicken and fried fry potatoes. That's Potato. cool. Yes. Okay, uh, tell but, me. But, but, uh, yes. Tomorrow, breakfast pupusas. <laughs> you are terrible. You are terrible. Okay, <laughs> tell me. What's your favorite part of the chicken? And, no sé cómo se dirá pechuga. Oh, you say breast. Bread. Breast. Okay. Actually, that's, uh, that's also, it also means uh, busto. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Okay, oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, I got I got a good word for you guys. Sorry, we are going to make a parenthesis. Uh, okay. Sweet bread. Do you know what is sweet bread, Karen? Uh, Look at the chat. Sweet bread. And dulce. 
Okay, yes and no. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Entonces, I don't know. And Katia looks at me like, what? Yes, it is that. But it also means something else. And I am going to tell you at the end of the class. No, I'm going to tell you right now, okay? It's a part of the chicken. Sweet bread. Oh, it, yeah. it means... Uh, Pan dulce, but it also can mean uh, it's an old word. Realmente es una palabra antigua. People don't use it that much. No se usa ya mucho, but you can find it, and some people use it to refer to. Uh, ¿Cómo le llamamos a? Mmm, mm, mm, mollejas. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Qué raro cómo se traduce eso. Teacher. Oh, that's the point, Linda that you are trying to translate. Usted está tratando de traducir. In languages, they do not exactly translate to each other. Aquí vamos a trabajar, y le voy a explicar en español una cuestioncita. Los idiomas no se traducen directamente uno al otro. Los idiomas realmente se interpretan. Como interpretar. Exacto, era la palabra. Ah, pero, pero esa interpretación, como por ejemplo, usted acaba de decir la molleja. Yo no le hallo, o sea, una, ah, una porque el, Porque la está buscando usted en base al conocimiento previo que tiene del español y cómo ha relacionado las palabras que ya conoció de inglés. Porque ajá. usted dice, ah, ok. Ajá, es que lo sweet, soy, ajá. Es dulce. Dulce. ¿ves? Ok, pero realmente, mire, esto, this is a, up here, this is a cup. Esto en inglés se llama cup. Y usted no me puede decir, ah, pero eso se traduce taza. No, no es cierto, no se traduce. La palabra equivalente en español para cup es taza. Y la palabra equivalente en inglés para, para taza es cup. Pero en este caso también puede ser mug. M-U-G. So, it's different, like uh, this, look. This is a coaster. This is a coaster. Y nosotros decimos posavasos. Right? Entonces, las uh -huh. palabras no se traducen literalmente. Se interpretan. Los idiomas se interpretan. Lo que pasa es que la idea que a nosotros no transmite la palabra taza, en inglés esa idea la transmitimos nosotros con la palabra cup. ¿Ok? But it doesn't mean that they translate. Another example, another simple example is like this. Let's see, uh, 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 I'm going to ask a guy because no quiero que las chicas aquí me fusilen. Uh, Mr. Anderson. Hello, Mr. Anderson. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Anderson, how old are you? Entiendo porque no le quiso preguntar a una chica. <laughs> What? How old are you? Look, I am 41 years old. I am 41. How old are you? I, I am 21 years. Oh my gosh, you are a kid. Está chiquito. Okay, thank you, Anderson. Look at the question. I ask him, how old are you? Y usted me dice, no, si lo traducimos, dice, ¿cuán? No, sería, ¿cómo? Viejo. Estás tú. It doesn't make sense. No tiene sentido. But the idea, through practice, a través de la práctica, you understand that that sentence transmits the idea that we in Spanish express by saying ¿Qué edad tienes? O ¿Cuántos años tienes? Right? Nosotros ya entendemos que en español la idea que no transmite es eso. But it doesn't mean that you translate. The problem is this. Look, uh, and I'm sorry. Uh, again, I'm sorry, I'm going to make a pause into Spanish because I want to make it quite clear. El problema es este. Algunos de nosotros, quizás por nuestra edad, en el momento que nos enseñaron inglés en la escuela o algo, se utilizaba antes un método que era llamado... Eh, déjame ver cómo se llamaba, ya no se usa. Oh my gosh. Perdón, y yo daba esa clase en la universidad. Eh, pero era el método era translation, ¿ok? Nosotros traducíamos, 
no, lo primero que nos enseñaron fue agarrar el, agarrar el diccionario, right? Yes. And start looking for the words. That method, that method, ese método, is, it was okay if you were just going to write in real English. Ese método servía si usted solamente iba a escribir y leer inglés. Not for speaking. There are different methods. Hay diferentes métodos. Like there's the suggestopedia, there's a total physical approach. The method that we are using is it's a mix, it's a mix between total physical approach and task-based approach. La metodología que estamos utilizando acá es una mezcla de dos, actually. The one that I'm using with you. So uh, according to the method, we created a perspective of how to understand the language. De acuerdo a esos métodos que teníamos nosotros, una perspectiva de cómo lo íbamos a entender el lenguaje. But I need you to do something here. Necesito que hagan algo. Do as little kiddos. Hacerle como los chiquitos. Okay? Don't overthinking, don't analyze it. Just believe me. No lo piensen de más ni lo trate de analizar demasiado. Solo créame. Okay? Just believe me, okay? Have faith on me. Téngame un poquito de fe. Yes, Teacher. Eh, fíjense que yo lo voy a hablar en español. Fíjense que quizás esa es la costumbre que yo tengo ahorita y siento que me está costando porque yo, este palabra que veo, quiero saber qué significa en español. Así como decía usted que nosotros agarramos el diccionario y buscábamos la palabra. Yeah, yeah. Entonces, And it's okay. You can look for one word. It's okay, you can look for one word. Está bien, usted puede buscar por una o dos palabras. But try to get the idea. Always try to place the words in, a, in the context. Okay? That's the trick. El truco es ese. No busque entender la palabra solo por la traducción. Place them in a context. Póngale en un contexto. So you can understand it better. La mejor manera de aprender el vocabulario es aplicándolo. How? In a context. Okay, in a context, because that's the only way we are going to really, really apply it, and that's the only way that we are going to really, really learn it. Y es la única manera que vamos a realmente aprenderlo. It's like the topic for today. We are going to keep on talking about simple past, but we are going to talk about the verb be. Okay, and the verb be is a special verb because it's it's the rebel verb. El verbo rebelde. Okay, why? Why is that? Oh, because the verb be, as you know, it has its own rule. Okay? Do you remember the rules from yesterday? The auxiliary, the auxiliary deal, the order of the structure. Do you remember from yesterday's class? Okay. It doesn't work like that for verb be. The verb be, it's special. In present, in past, okay? In future. It's an special verb. And we are going to work with that. That's why I was asking you, how was your day? Was, that's the past of the verb be. Was and where is the past of the verb be. But we are going to start right with the conversation, okay? Because I don't want to delay it more. I know that it's been interesting, but we need to advance. Yo sé que está interesante, pero necesitamos avanzar. Okay? So welcome to the rest. Welcome, Reinaldo, Emily. I just see it like this. Oh, and now I can see you, Emily. Thank you. Uh, there's Daniel. Welcome to the class. Yeah. And we are going to start by sharing the little conversation we have from the video. Okay? Okay. We have this conversation here. How was your vacation? Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation with past of B if used. Hi to all, welcome to this session. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of B. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the past of B. Let's listen. Hi Don, how was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? 
Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay. Let's listen one more time. Participants will have a... I'm sorry. Hi to all. Welcome to this session. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of B. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the past of B. Let's listen. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay, now let's see. Hi, Don. I'm How sorry. was it? Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to see who are my participants. Emily, Emily, please. You are Celia. And Harleen, you are Don. Let's do it, please. Harleen. Hi, Don. Hi. Perfect. Harleen, you are done. Let's start, Emily. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It's quite excellent. I went to Hawaii with my coxie. We had a great time. Yeah. Uh, lucky you. How long were you? How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went and surfed every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best, the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. Do you want to believe it? Okay, perfect. Remember, Hawaii, Hawaii. Okay. Great time. Great time. The waves, the waves. Perfect. Now let's see. Thank you very much, ladies. Mr. Carlos Lopez and Daniel Alberto, please. Who we'll start? Mr. Carlos, you start. Okay. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? Daniel? Daniel, can you see the text? Oh. Oops, I think we cannot hear okay. you. Okay. I'm sorry, Daniel. Tenemos okay. problemas. Tenemos problemitas con el audio, I think. Okay, let's see, let's see. Humberto, please. Can you help us? Yes. Okay, Humberto, you are done. It was excellent. Hi. Carlos, Hi, let's restart. Thank you. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii. With my cousin, we had a great, a great time. Look you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. What's the weather? Okay. Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Perfect. Thank you very much, guys. Excellent. Now, Anderson and Basilia. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Look at you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Uh, not really. It was sorry most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, 
What was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Perfect. Just remember, lucky you, lucky. Excellent, guys. Very well done. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, uh, Umberto and Reynaldo, please. Umberto, you will start. Umberto, you did it already. Ya me participó, Umberto. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry, Umberto. In this case, it's uh, uh, Miss Elizabeth Lopez. Yes. Please, Elizabeth, Hi. you and Reynaldo, you start, Elizabeth. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Looking you, how long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. What, you were okay? No, really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Well done. Karen and Katya. Next. Karen, you will start. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? Excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Look at you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. Uh, it was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The way we were seen. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. And let's see. Uh, Linda and Mario Santiago, please. Linda. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Look at you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Perfect. Thank you very much. Reynaldo, you haven't participated yet, right? Yes, that's right. Okay. Uh, Katia, would you mind helping us? What did you say, teacher? Would you mind helping Reynaldo? con Reynaldo? You are Celia, Katia. Yes, yes. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay no really it was cloudy most uh, of the time but we went surfing every day the waves were amazing so what was the best thing about the trip well something incredible happening you won't believe it okay perfect excellent thank you very much thank you katia remember guys hawaii hawaii okay lucky about a week about a week okay thank you now let's see we need to watch another video from here that is the little explanation from the pass of b 
In this session, participants will study the past of B. Questions and short answers will be taught. Hello, nice to have you back. I'll make reference of the past of the verb B. Let's start. Past of B. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. The past of and is, was, are, were. To ask questions using the past of be, we do it this way. Was, were, plus subject, plus complement, plus question mark. Were you my student? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was she sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Remember, we used be to express feelings, conditions, states, and descriptions, either in present or past. Now you try answering the following questions. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning? Okay. Well, remember, those videos from the platform, you can review them later. Esos videos los pueden revisar ustedes luego. So we are going to advance because I, I prepare a small PowerPoint presentation for you. With the explanation like simpler. Okay. Let's see. Let me see. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Simple pass. Simple pass verb B. I am changing to I was. You are becomes you were. He is he was. She is she was. Remember, this is present, this is past. It is, it is, it was. We are, we were. They are, they were. So this past of the verb be is just was and were, as you can see here. Questions? Preguntas? No? Okay, let's continue. Remember, I am in class today. That's present, right? I was in class yesterday. John is here today. John was here yesterday. We are happy today. We were happy yesterday. Simple pass of the tense. Be remember the singular. I was, you were, she was, he was, it was. Remember, you were is, you is singular and you can also be plural, okay? So the plural, we were, you were, they were. Okay, the water is warm today. Let's see, Emily, please do it in past. The water was warm today. Perfect, miss. Thank you. Now, the negative form. I was not in class yesterday. He wasn't in class yesterday. Remember, was plus not, we contracted it as wasn't. Okay? And we use wasn't, the contraction for I, for she, for he, for it. I wasn't, she wasn't, he wasn't, it wasn't. Where? Look at the examples. You were not home last night. You weren't home last night. That means that were plus not equals weren't. And we use weren't when we talk about we, you, and they. Weren't. Weren't, you, weren't, they, weren't. Okay. Now, before we do this. 
let me make a stop here. Is there any question up to here? Tenemos preguntas? No. If you want, I can share that presentation with you. Si gustan, puedo compartir la presentación in the group later. Sí, okay. Sure. So if you want to review, no problem. Okay. I will share it with you as soon as the class finishes. Tan pronto terminemos la clase. I'm going to share it so you can have it and you can review it. Okay, now, questions, questions. Tell me, tell me. I know there are questions. Yo sé que hay preguntas. No? Okay, then I will ask you. Okay? So, Katia. Yes, teacher. Tell me, Katia, were you at school today? Yes, I was. Perfect. And tell me, yeah. were you at school in the morning or in the afternoon? I was in the school in the morning. Okay, perfect. Then tell me, Katia, where were you in the afternoon? I was in my house. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much, Katia. I appreciate it. Now let's see next question. Next question is four, four, four. Let's see, Reinaldo. Yes, teacher. Tell me, were you in your job today? Uh, repeat, please. I'm sorry. Were you in your job in your workplace today? Yes, I was. Okay, and tell me, what time were you back home? I was back at my home in... At? At, at 5.30 o'clock. Okay, 5.30 p.m., that's cool. Yes. Excellent, excellent. Okay, just let me check. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, perfect. So, thank you very much, Reynaldo. Okay. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Emily. Yes, teacher. Okay, Emily. I remember that you're studying at the university. That means that you finished high school a few years ago, right? You just no. finished high school. Usted acaba de terminar high school a few years ago. Five years. Five years ago. That's a few years ago, my dear. Eso hace pocos años. When you get my my age, five years is like yesterday. Cuando llegue a mi edad, cinco años es ayer. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Emily. Tell me, what was your favorite subject at school? My favorite subject. I don't. I don't have. I didn't. I, don't have. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, really? Okay, now tell me then. What was the subject you were best at? Best, mejor. What was the subject? What was the subject you were best at? I don't understand the question. Okay, let me text it to you. What was the subject you were best at? En qué asignatura you were the best? En cuál sería mejor? At school, at school. Math. Math. Maybe math. Oh, cool. Yeah. Excellent. Sorry, what did you tell me? ¿Qué más me dijo? Uh, no, nothing. Okay. Perfect, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Let's see, Basilia. Yes, teacher. Tell me, Basilia, what was there today for lunch? I was. It was. It was soup, uh, 
Soup. Frijoles. Oh, oh, beans soup. Beans, beans soup. Beans soup. Come on, yes. it's been hot. Okay. Yes, but I, I don't have beans okay. for the weekend. Okay, okay. So you you took advantage of that fact. Aprovechó el hecho, dice. Yes. Soup. I, I don't like soups. Soups are not for me. <laughs> Thank you, Basilia. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Carlos, Carlos, you've been very quiet, Mr. Carlos. Hi. Hello, Carlos. Tell me, do you like soccer? Yes. Oh, okay. yes, I like it. Do you watch soccer every day? Do you watch soccer like the Champions League and stuff like that? Yes. Yes, okay. I do. Tell me, who was the champion for, for the who was the champion on the Champions League last season? The champions. Um, I don't remember. Oh, come on. Wait a second. Give me a second. The champion. They just lose. Acaban de perder. Liverpool? No, they were from Germany. Oh, yeah. Yes. Bayern Munich. Yes, Bayern yes. Munich. Okay, the champion was the Bayern Munich, okay? Now okay. listen to this, listen to this, okay? And thank you, Carlos. I asked this question like that, es esta pregunta, because I need you to focus on something. When the word involves a group, is singular. Cuando el término me encierra un grupo, es singular. Is in present, was in past. The champion was Bayern Munich. Okay? It's a team. Es el nombre de un equipo. Okay? The champions were the players from the Bayern Munich. In this case, I am talking about the players. Plural. You get the idea? ¿Sí captamos la idea? If the word yes. refers to a group, we understand it as singular. Si el término envuelve un grupo, lo entendemos como singular. Okay? Thank you, thank you. Let's continue, let's continue. Um, Elizabeth. Okay, ask me, Elizabeth. Ask me, ask me. Es como decir un grupo de cantantes, un grupo de, de, de bailarines. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's like, uh, let's see. Uh, I'll give you an example. Let's see. Mm. Pandora. Theatry of Tragedy was my favorite Doom group. Okay. Listen, Elizabeth. Theatry of Tragedy, that's the name of a group. Es el nombre de un grupo. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Es Doom. Mm. Es un tipo de rock. Ok. A little bit heavy, un poquito pesadito. Oh, I'll, I'll make it easier. Perhaps one that is more known. Uno que es más conocido. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Epica. Epica was a good group. Listen. Epica was a good group. Ok. Or Nightwish was a good group. I'm talking about the group, the name of the group. So, the singular. Nightwish was a good group. You get it? Or like your classmate said, uh, Pandora. Pandora was a group of ladies, right? Era un grupo solo de chicas, right? So, Pandora was a group. Singular. Okay? Is it clear now, Elizabeth? There, teacher. Okay, now I'm asking you, Elizabeth. Tell me, Elizabeth, who was your favorite singer when you were uh, in high school? Cuando estaba en bachillerato, who was your favorite singer? Um, no dancing, teacher. I'm sorry? Singer, no. cantante. Um... 
it was it was in this case it was romeo santo oh come on Okay, okay, okay. No <laughs> comments, no comments, no comments, okay? Uh, Excellent. It's busy. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Thank you very much. Now, let's see, Karen. Yes, teacher. The same question for you, Karen. Tell me, who was your favorite singer when you were at school? It was Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne. Um, Punk. <laughs> Come on, pop. you go from punk to pop. That's yeah. okay. I love music. Okay, excellent. So you are talking about the 2000s. Hablamos de ahí por el 2000. What about you, I Katia? Love soup. <laughs> okay. What about you, Katia? Who was your favorite singer or group? It was, it was Freddie Mercury. Oh, now oh. we're now we are talking. Excellent. Delicate taste. Thank you. And what about you, Mario? Tell me, who was your favorite group or singer when you were at school? Uh, my favorite uh, singer uh, was at the school. At school was uh, uh, Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie. Uh, oh, nice. And uh, group Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. Okay, grunge, a little bit of grunge. Yes, yes, uh, grunge. That's, that's nice. I love rock. Well, I love music. Okay, mister, I understand, Humberto. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, uh, it's almost time, but I will still keep on. Voy a seguir because I need to wrap up. If you want, um, to stay, please stay, because I need, I want to do this practice with everybody. Anderson, what about you? Anderson, you are 21, I just remember. Tell me, Anderson, who was your favorite group when you were at school? Uh, it was Michael Jackson. Okay, Michael Jackson. Yes. And now I like it, uh, so the stereo. Ooh. Yeah, soda is good. Soda is. It good. was thing is the best bang of pop rock. Well, the people For from me. yeah 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 the people from Indio Solari they can argue with you. La gente de Indecito Solari le pueden discutir. It's another group from from Argentina, but they are a little bit underground and they were in the same time. But it's good. So the stereo is yes, good. Yes. I remember, I grew up listening to that. Yo crecí escuchando eso. Now, let's see, let's see. Who hasn't talked yet? ¿Quién no ha hablado conmigo? Harleen. Hello, Harleen. Hi, teacher. Harleen, tell me, who was your favorite teacher at school? Um, my favorite teacher was school at uh, a senior theory uh, English. Was the English teacher. Was the English teacher, okay? And we say subject, Harleen. Decimos subject. Decimos materia, subject. Subject, okay. okay. Perfect. Now okay. let's see, Linda, what about you? Who was your favorite teacher? Linda, I don't hear you. My favorite teacher um, was um, science. Science teacher. Okay. Yes. Cool. You like science. <laughs> That's excellent. Okay, tell me, what area from science was your favorite? Because science, well, nowadays they divided in physics, biology, and chemistry. Which was your favorite, physics, biology, or chemistry? Um, uh, la primera. Physics. <laughs> physics. Yes. Oh, me too. I love physics. Physics was cool, easy for me. Thank you, Linda. 
Now, Egypt. let's see, let's see, let's see. Mr. Uh, who hasn't participated yet? Yo sé que me falta algo. Hmm. No problem, we can repeat. Basilia, tell me. Yeah. Okay. Where was the place where you met your husband? In the Metro Centro. Okay. I oh. was, I was. Met at in at the Metro Centro. Centro. Okay. Metro. Cool. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Nice. Thank you. Reinaldo. Hi, teacher. Tell me, Reinaldo, uh, do you have kids? Yes, I have a three girls. Three girls? Oh, my yes. God. <laughs> Get a gun, man. Get a gun. <laughs> yes. Busques un arma. That helps. Yeah, I have it. <laughs> I have it. Is uh, how do you say fusil? Punto <laughs> cincuenta. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, you gotta be ready. Okay, tell me, when, when was your first kid born? Oh, uh, she's. She I, was. I don't remember. She she was uh, my first daughter born in july 4th okay excellent excellent thank you very much look at the question i texted it for you when was your first kill born uh, yeah good thank you okay perfect now let's see let's see emily okay emily i'm sorry we're gonna get personal you can be creative okay you don't have to tell me the truth no tiene que decirme la verdad okay it's just part of the exercise T emily tell me what was the name of your first boyfriend oh emily uh, blushes it's a privacy <laughs> she blushes what? Kevin. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Katia. Hello, you are next. Hello, Katia. Are you, are you married? No, I don't. Oh. I am sick. Lucky you. Thank God. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's no, perfect. Okay, and you don't have kids. Okay. Do you have pets? Mascotas. Yes. Okay. Please. What was the name of your first pet? It was Brownie. Brownie. Yeah. Oh, really? That's the name of my dog. Oh. Yeah, that's my dog's name, Brownie. Cool, thank you. Okay, guys, what I need you to understand is this. If you notice, we saw the grammar, and the grammar helps, okay? But now that we have been practicing, if you realize we've been speaking in English, I've been asking and you've been answering for 20 minutes now. Tenemos 20 minutos simplemente estar preguntando y contestando and you've been using English and you've been using the simple pass of the verb be and we have had fun y nos hemos divertido so remember always practice practice and practice that's the best way to learn thank you very much to all of you thank you for your patience see you on Monday please work in the platform work in the platform yeah. Thank you, bye teacher. Bye. Thank, you, Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Happy weekend. Thank you. Bye. See you Monday. Happy weekend. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night.